They were nicknamed the Black Panthers. These African-American fought in the 761st Tank Battalion during World War II. Their motto, come out fighting. Still being segregated in their home country, even in the training camp, the unit had six white and 30 black officers with 676 enlisted men. Formed on April 1, 1942 at Camp Claiborne, Louisiana, the 761st Tank Battalion trained under restrictions and racism. One example is First Lieutenant Jack Roosevelt Robinson, who refused to sit in the back of a military bus at Fort Hood, Texas in July 1944. His superiors transferred him to the 758th Tank Battalion, where he was court-martialed. Robinson was later acquitted, but it was already too late to join his battalion and never saw the war. The battalion arrived in France on October 10, 1944 at Omaha Beach and entered combat at Morvelesvik in Belgium on November 7, 1944, in support of the 26th Infantry Division. The town was captured the same day. Captain Long proudly summed up his pride for the Black Panthers and their conduct. The town of Morvelesvik was supposed to be a snap, but it was an inferno. My men were tigers. They fought like seasoned veterans. We got our lumps, but we took that town. 24 men were killed during the battle. Although many white officers had doubts about black soldiers, hesitating to send them into battle, they played an important role in military operations. The 761st participated in heavy combat-like Battle of the Bulge to the end of the war for over 183 consecutive days. They even liberated the Gunskirchen concentration camp on May 4, 1945, opened only a month earlier, whose prisoners were mainly Jews from Hungary. I walked in, seen human beings laying on the floor, skins and bone, moaning and groaning. I said, oh my God, how can anybody do something like this? 15,000 prisoners were set free, 1,500 of whom died as a result of their mistreatment. Some 17,000 Hungarian Jews reportedly passed through the Gunskirchen camp. A liberated young woman described the soldier who saved her in a poem. A black G, I stood by the door. I never saw a black before. He'll set me free before I die. I thought he must be the Messiah. Called one of the most effective tank battalions in World War II, the Black Panthers fought further east than almost any other unit from the U.S. and received 391 decorations for heroism. But their fight was not just against the Germans, but also against racism, which they had to face upon their return to their country. In combat, the white soldiers accepted us because of, they needed the tanks for support. But once the fighting is over with, the discrimination come back. Just like, just like clockwork. It took years before the Afro-American battalion began to receive more recognition. A monument dedicated to the 761st Tank Battalion was unveiled at Fort Hood, Texas, and received a presidential unit citation for its actions in 1978. 